just don't play in that. Hello, extremely what? once again. No. So happy to dance with Obviously, you. at this point in time, it's actually, although I usually go to since we have two dive clop standard and alt deco Christmas special, if you will, in mistletoe, I've gone through. I've done the base upgrades with mistletoe. Uh, that way, when we come through with dive clops, I can quickly explain them because we've experienced them. Initially, I thought I would prefer the sonar attacks, uh, but after taking the base upgrades, I'm kind of thinking I might prefer the torpedo path. And I personally like the aesthetics of standard dive bomber better. Dive Clops, I should say, who drives the Dive Bomber. It all gets very confusing. <laughs> anyway, what I'm thinking is I will let Standard Dive Clops have the Tidal Torpedoes path. And then, this is so so much of a tongue twister, I don't know why they do this. But, uh, Dowsing Dowser, I think is how we're going to pronounce that. Or, Dowsing Dowser. Anyway, like, uh, Dowsing, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like applying to, you know, sort of like a straight up, uh, you know, flow of water type of a thing. So, uh, I equate it to like the tertiary attack where we've just got like the flow of water. And then Dowser, that's sort of like old school, we're gonna go find some gold in the ground with sticks or something, you know? Uh, at least that's the way I take it. But anyway, tidal torpedoes we're gonna have with uh, standard dive clop, so check that out. But right here, mistletoe, we're going to go with dowsing dowser, or dozing dowser, however you want to pronounce it is what we'll go with here. Uh, and it also sounds like of the name of a reindeer. Tidal torpedoes, I couldn't see a reindeer named that, but if we've got Santa Sleigh in front of us with reindeer, uh, on dowsing dowser, right? Sounds legitimate. <laughs> so, we're going to learn more powerful sonar abilities to defeat large groups of enemies. That's a lie, we have Skylander Tutor, and we'd be like at level 350 by now or something if it went that high. Uh, but first up uh, is Sonar Smarts for 1360. Keep in mind, 10 Wing Sapphire's max discount 20%. Enemies hit with Sonar take more damage from Water Pedos for a short amount of time. Let's go ahead and grab that. Water Pedos, I believe, are still doing 22 to 33. Yeah, that, that was still accurate. So, let's case in point that. Interesting. <laughs> uh, the glowing green, that's like ectoplasmic look. But the 8 to 12, that's of course from the mine. And then the, the water pedo itself, though, that was the 33. 22, 33 is still where we're at. So, let me get on the right path here in the spreadsheet. Sonar smarts, again, we're going to hit them with sonar. And for a short amount of time, they'll take more damage. So let's see if it, like, glows to indicate. That was like 12 seconds. I wouldn't really consider that a short amount of time. I was thinking it'd be like 2 to 3 seconds or something lame. That's actually going to be fairly practical, so roughly 12 seconds. Again, I was kind of counting slow, but it's a really cool green color. Uh, it's sort of like his uh, ping ability, which I thought was actually pretty neat. Anyway, so we're going to hit this guy with sonar, and then we're going to shoot water pedos and see if they do more damage and also if the mines do more damage. The mines don't. They're 8 to 12, but we're doing 32 there, so there was our 48. So, 12 seconds of increased damage on water pedals. So, 22 to 33 becomes 32 to 48. That's a decent jump. I mean, 10 to 16. So, uh, mines equal, I'll just say mines. Still, 8 to 12 again, still is not a good word in my little spreadsheets here. Uh, 12 seconds increased damage. Let me reword this a little, try to make it a bit more concise. I'm gonna do 12 sex, uh, S -E -S -S -E -C -S, uh, abbreviated there. 12 seconds increased damage on water pedos. Uh, you know what? I'll just put 32 to 48. That'll make it fit. 12 seconds increased damage. 
water torpedoes. 32 to 48. Semicolon mines still 8 to 12. That fits so much better in the spreadsheet. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, I thought I was frozen. Chapter 42 will be released, well, today at 10 in the morning. I got frozen in that thing, literally. Uh, you'll want to check it out. That's why it's so long. I did all kinds of things to try and <laughs> get unfrozen. But uh, again, now that I piqued your interest, chapter 42 in the blind playthrough. That's it, let's move Are on here, see what we get next. Countermeasures for 1760. Automatic, this sounds really cool to me. Automatically send out a small sonar pulse when hit. Wait, before we do that, we have the deal where if I, you know, shoot, hold down B, I can like ping everything. That's still 2233. But now we're going to let that wear off, and I'm going to shoot. Actually, I'll tell you what, we'll try it this way. So I'm going to sonar blast that. I'm going to shoot over there several times. And now we're going to hold B down. 18 to 27. Okay. <laughs> um, that's cool. Mines. So water pedos, 32 to 48. Pinged will be 18 to 27. I'm glad I thought to do that. And then mine still 8 to 12. Alright. <laughs> there we go. I actually do like that ping that ability. Go, I think it's kind of cool. Like that way if you've upgrades. sort of like killed everything and then you've still got like mines going, which they last a long time. You know, almost 10 seconds. They do 8 to 12 hits depending on what they feel like apparently. But uh, say that it takes 3 hits to kill everything over there and you've got like 4 mines going. Use that ping ability, draw them over there. And it's kind of a neat deal in my opinion. So, Countermeasures automatically send out small sonar pulses when you're hit that will damage nearby enemies. Okay. Not sure that... Well, it should. Technically, we do get hit. So, let's hop up over here. I guess that chest is just going to stay green forever. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, wait. Do you know... That changed him aesthetically. Those little spikes like a pufferfish or a real mine didn't used to be there. Uh, observations. So you'll have to keep that in mind. If you hate that aesthetic, you won't want this path. <laughs> but I'm hoping when the Greeble hits us that it will activate this. Oh yeah, did that do 18? Well, let... Okay, I tell you what. We gotta set this up again. Okay, he's back to normal. Hit me. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. Twelve seconds. Okay, 18 to 27 for 12 seconds. Let me just pause this. <laughs> That's getting annoying. Countermeasures. Um, get hit. Sonar equals 18 to 27. Get hit. Small sonar equals 18 to 27. Uh, 12 seconds. That should be the 12 seconds of increased damage, right? So let's go ahead and have him hit us. Can we shoot him? 32 is yes. And if we ping him. Eight, 18s. And then let's see, do we do increased damage with sonar? We should probably check that. Did not tell what that said. Uh, last time I checked, let's see, we were doing. Where was it? Echo enhancers? It was 22 to 33, I think. Yeah, let's check the radius here. Yeah, that's okay. Alright, so I want to do this. Actually, So now he should take him to the So it's still so I can apply to Boom sticks! Very cool. Is the chest still green? No, he is. So, uh, 12 seconds. Same as above. Excellent. Somewhat concise for all it is. Uh, back to Persephone. 
Hello, yes, hello, dear. Once again. I'm gonna cycle so over to hatch off to you, 2400. You, Geyser does more damage and, and can be used longer. Tear it up. Okay. So the geyser, it was our tertiary attack. It has not been touched since we got it with the first base upgrade, right? No, it was with Power of the People. So first purchase, you do 5 to 8, roughly 13 times, roughly 9 seconds. There is knockback. Uh, and then Power of the Pupil, it was basically the same thing, 5 to 8, 9 seconds. Your primary attack becomes Water Surge, which was still 8 to 12. Uh, which was weird to me. I thought it would be more than that. Uh, and then I'll, I'll check it out when we do the base upgrades with standard dive clops. But uh, I think it would have like better knockback, but I didn't actually test it yet. And then the secondary attack, you do like three to four spins on a 360, and it interestingly does 18 to 24, which I kind of would have expected it to do the 8 to 12, and then like the surge attack from the primary to do the increased 18 to 24. But... We shall see, nonetheless, once again. Geyser does more damage, which 5 to 8, if we could get that up to 10 or 12, I would be, obviously anything higher than that would be great, but at least 10, you know, was like what I'm hoping for. Uh, and you can use it longer, which again, I was calculating roughly 9, 8 to 10 seconds, somewhere in there. So, it's not real scientific what I do. But. So, that's the first thing we're going to do, is count the time that we can use this thing. We'll back out. Alright, so one mistake. Uh, 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 uh fourteen? Thirteen to fourteen is what I got. <laughs> so um Geyser equals we'll call it thirteen seconds again. This is all you know rough guesstimations, you know, give or take a second or two. <laughs> Uh, we were doing 5 to 8 standard. Let's see what we get now. Oh, wow. 10 to 15. I was predicting that. I'll take it. Uh, 12 would have been better. But, uh, the surge now is going to be equal to what? We're going to tap Y and then tap X. Still 8. Really. Huh. That makes no sense. Because... Like, it should be a more forceful impact, you know what I mean? So, Surge is equal to 8 to 12, and then the 360, that's what we're dubbing that move. Let's find out what it is. Hopefully there is an increase. <clears throat> Again, when we got it, with Power of the Pupil, 18 to 24, roughly three times here, if we start out facing the thing. So, there we go. 10 to 15, spin around. Still 18 to 24, still three times, so... Not quite sure why that doesn't increase those two attacks, because it really should, in my opinion. But, whatever. 360 equals 18 and 24 three times. That, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how we like that. Um, let's get the soul gem real quick. It's Any almost 2 in the morning, go, and then the I clock is going to spring forward to 3 a.m. Which is the time that I like. Not that well, technically it is the night time that I like, but it really sucks in the winter time when you leave work at like early, you know, like you get to leave by 5.15, and you drive home into an abyss of darkness. That is, that is not fun. You like to get home and have daylight, you know, where you can do something. Uh, even if you run errands, if you just want to walk around, if you want to go to golf, anything. Uh, it sucks to come home from work in darkness. I wish the time would just be left at, uh, you know, springtime, if you will. So, Anyway, I know I could go into the history on it, which most people don't seem to know for some reason. But anyway, uh, 3,200. We have 200 left in the bank here. We can get a hat. Well, we can't really. I need to do that freaking Wishstone live stream because we're running out of stuff to get, <laughs> actually. Uh, so depth of field is the soul gym. Hold X and release to shoot a huge cluster of water pedo mines. If you couldn't see mines, you will now. Alright, looks interesting based on the thumbnail. Uh, he's wearing, what is that, the skipper hat? Admiral hat? Something. I don't know. Uh, Alright, here he goes. We're going to hold X. Oh, wow. So that's going to be like four exterior and then one giant. I'm letting that mine expire, which it did. Here we go. That was
wasn't quite what I thought. Let's try to figure this out. Well, that's no good. <laughs> Twenty-two to forty-five and sixteen to twenty-four. Hmm. Should be a twenty-two to thirty-three, and then forty-five is that standard damage. <laughs> yeah, forty-five is standard, so that would be sixty-eight, and then the mines. What would they be? The big one seems to do 16 to 24. Small mines are still 8 to 12. Big mine is 16 to 24. Um, it's a small torpedo. Big torpedo. <laughs> And then let's see here, just for the sake of doing it, shoot off the cylinder, right? And we're going to come this Oh, that didn't change anything. That's very unfortunate. Let's shoot this over here. And then I'm gonna ping it over this way. 318s. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, take from that what you will. I'm, I'm thinking that might vary depending on what goes down in your particular situation. But uh, this is dive class, mistletoe dive class down the dowsing dozer, dowsing dozer, whatever you want to again pronounce it as. And I, show me what you've got, Skylander. I don't know. It, I think this path could have been a lot better. So he set himself up for an increase in damage. Let's actually, yeah, so that pretty much eradicates people. Let's play with that. Just, this is our tertiary attack. Just on its own, right? We can push him around pretty easy. Let's get another guy in, and I'm going to get him in the middle. Come at me. Oh, really? Okay, well, I'm just going to surge it. Whoops, I'm not surging. Let's use tertiary. Right. Oh, man. So just better knock back with that really. And now let's get three of these guys in here. Open this up. And B button. It's a really good knock back with that. That's actually the way to go apparently. And then let's see here. We want to set this up. Shoot that over there. So you can tell, I mean, there really are the four mines in the big one. You know, that's just, you got one, two, three, the fourth one is down here, as you the can see. The battle circle so is always open. That's really Make about it, man. So what stands out to me on this path, well, and also any time we get hit, that auto deals the sonar, uh, which again, believe it or not, that actually is going to do... Um, Wait, where is that? Oh yeah, countermeasures. I was looking at the wrong one. So the small sonar is 18 to 27, but then they take the increased damage, which is 32 to 48. Uh, if it's pinged, 18 to 27. The hatch off to you, again, is kind of... I guess, uh... I don't know. I, I'm thinking I'll like the torpedo path better, but we haven't taken it yet, so it's hard to say. That said, what stands out to me here, instant sonar when we're hit, which is cool. And then obviously the tertiary attacks increase, but I feel like that should have in turn increased the surge. Oh, it just became 301 instead of 201. It happened, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with me that you like this. I don't care about gaining an hour of sleep. I care about having daylight after work because that's that's very very much appreciated by everyone normal. 
So, uh, again, you can keep your hour of sleep. I could care less if I just have an extra hour of daylight to enjoy. So much more that you can do in the daytime than the nighttime, right? But, uh, yeah, very cool that we got out of the winter time period. Uh, it's been super hot. I actually have my fan on here, but we're supposed to get snow this week, so you tell me. <laughs> anyway, uh, the instant sonar, cool. The hatch off to you. The, the 360 attack actually looks to be the best, but I don't understand why we increased it from 5 to 8 to 10 to 15, and then the Surge and the 360 maintain the same damage that they had when we got them in Power of the Pupil, a base upgrade. So I think they should have increased, should have enhanced there a little bit better. But, uh, should be interesting. And again, I mean, if you come in and you're just doing this, it's pretty killer. So, what we will do now, I will get Dive Collapse on, we'll take him through the base upgrades, which shouldn't take long. Then we will go in, we'll check out Tidal Torpedoes and kind of see how the paths direct compare. Then we can work on his quests and Supercharged Challenge. We'll do the same uh, with Gilgrunt. Well, I guess we'll just kind of knock out both of the Water Element. So, anyway, uh, again, let me know your thoughts on dive clops. If you have mistletoe dive clops, which path you assign to which dive clops and why. Uh, if you just have one dive clops, whether it be standard or mistletoe, which path do you prefer and why? So, uh, again, let me know down in the comments section. If you enjoyed this installment of Skylanders Research, leave a like. Let me know your thoughts. You can follow me on Twitch and just stream some more Super Smash Bros. this afternoon with the Walkthrough King. Exports on that are on YouTube. They will be getting released throughout the week. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google Plus, whichever you prefer. Once again, thanks so much for watching, and myself and Mistletoe Dive Clops will catch you back here for more.